Hi guys, welcome back to Fogdu. In this video, we are going to see how to write your own Altran scripts. In a lot of tutorials, you will see each of the tutorial, in fact, ships with Altran and all clean scripts. So Altran and all, crypt, all clean scripts are, in fact, uh, you could you could think of them as scripts that execute a bunch of commands in series. Uh, these are bash executables that can be programmed to do a certain tasks needed for your simulations. So I'm going to use the cavity tutorial from Incompressible Icofoam for example. Uh, we have zero constant and system directories. I'm going to remove uh, any of my previous unnecessary log files from the from the case and you will see that I'm left with zero constant and system. Uh, I'm going to remove uh, my polymesh folders if they are present. Uh, I don't remember if I ran them before. So all right now we are left with a clean case. So we know that for this simple tutorial we have to execute only two commands. One is block mesh it's going to run the block mesh and then we simply have to execute icofo and uh, that's about it after that you should see the time directories the solution directories and you will have mesh in constant polymesh um, before we proceed there's this uh, little pointer that that's pretty useful is uh, if you have to delete all the uh, the time directories so there's this uh, neat little trick it's called foamless times dash rm it's going to delete all the time directories, the solution time directories, except zero. All right, so let's start by creating a script called all run. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, typically, OpenFoam follows the convention on all run and all clean. So I'm going to name it all run. And we know that uh, the first command that we have to execute is block mesh. So I'm going to type in block mesh. And the second thing that I have to do is I have to run a command uh, that starts the solver, which is icofoam. <clears throat> if you have to direct output of each of the commands to a separate file, then you can type in something like uh, you can you can direct the output to a log file. So you can type in something like this. And if you want to run this in background, you can put and sign. Similarly for icofoam, you will do the same. You will type in log dot icofoam, and this is going to run in background. Uh, let's say we also have to run a mesh check after block mesh. So you're going to type in something like check mesh and forward your output to log dot check mesh and uh, run this in background. Um, so after that is done you can simply save this file and exit your editor but at this point you will see the the color of your file is shown red and if you start executing it it won't autocomplete that means it's not an executable if you type the name manually and hit enter you will see permission tonight that means it's not an executable just yet and it's uh, simply an ordinary file so to make it an executable you have to type chmod plus <coughs> x all run and it will change the permissions and make it executable so if you type in ls, you will see that the color has changed to blue. And if you try to execute it, it auto-completes. So let's see what happens. So uh, if I type press enter, it has done a bunch of things. And you will see the solution is ready. And it has, in fact, written down three files. So let's look at our check mesh output. So I'm going to type cat space log dot check mesh. And you will see. Uh, the output for check mesh. So everything that you ordinarily see on your console is uh, in fact dumped in the log files. Uh, this is particularly useful if you have to visit your log files to check if uh, everything has worked perfectly or if something has failed. And it is also very useful to keep a track of uh, several applications that run in your all, all run and all clean files. Uh, so with that, uh, this is how you can create your own all run and all clean scripts and uh, stay tuned for the next one.